I've been hearing about this DJI Modder program. It's been banded around on uh, the DJI Modding Lounge here, for instance. Um, now, I got this mistaken with the FC patcher. So I've decided to have a look at it and do a quick video on it. Um, there's lots of files and stuff. The problem with GitHub is it's it sort of obfuscates what it is. It's there's so much text on the screen. It's not like there's a just a readme or a, a you know something like that says you know um, want to contribute or learn some stuff. Join our Slack. What is the latest version to work? Uh, latest version that works these patches is app version four one two two. Since the original files encrypted, you need a special decrypted version. This version can be found online. The file name is there. Only this version is supported. You won't find an APK mirror. No. But what I'll do is I have actually got it on my Dropbox. I'll put a link in the video below. Um, FCC, if you get a message about different regions. I would suggest you read this page. I'll put the link to it as well in the uh, description below. Um, then it's all about Linux. And you think, oh, okay, Linux again. Uh, Mac OS. Oh, here we go. There's a Windows. Um, you may need to install the Java development kit. I think I've already got that installed. Uh, run the download tools bat file. Get the APK. Look in the patches folder for supported versions. Check above for link. Uh, run me bat as administrator. URLs patching. Uh, I don't know if that's something you have to do or whether it does it all for you. No fly zones. Um, and there's sort of about the about the no fly zones. Uh, and then there's a club for the original gangsters and all the information there. So let's go up to the top of the page then and we'll do a clone or download. And we'll download zip. Wait for it to pop up on there and go OK. Right, so there's definitely no uh, what's it there. So let's bring up DJI Modder Master Zip. Let's just put that down to there for a minute. Bring it up, there we go. Just going to extract that to my downloads folder. I'll put it in a file called modder. I can find it then. Click OK. Close that and close that. Let's open up the downloads folder. Um, Documents. Where's my downloads gone? <laughs> downloads have disappeared. Libraries, recent places. There we go. Go on there. It's downloads. There we go. Downloads. Why is downloads disappeared? Right. OK. Modder. DJI Mudder Master, and here we go, these are all the things here. Now then, uh, if you just run the runme.bat as administrator, it says, could not find, put apk here, orig.apk, press any key to resume. Okay, we'll close that out. Because what you need to do is you need to put in here the file mentioned on the web page, which was 4122. Sec, uh, non sec neo version just so happens I've actually got that version uh, I've got it in uh, my downloads uh, in my quad stuff and I've got it in um, moddable there we go and it's actually that one there does work so I'm going to do a control and C on that to copy and then going to put it into this folder here which I'll just go back into the put APK here so I'll paste that into there, and then you need to name it to Orig, because that's what it said it was looking for. I take it if you don't rename it, it doesn't work. Okay, let's go back to the main section here. Go down to runme.bat, right click, run as administrator, click yes. Uh, could not find tools, apktool.jar, okay. All right, so we need to get some tools. Let's have a look. Is there somewhere to get tools from? Uh, there we go. Download tools back. There we go. So we're going to run that as administrator probably as well. And that did something. Okay. Let's try running the runme.bat again as administrator. Yes. No. Okay. Not close out. Let's just run that download tools.bat. Ah, there we go. So don't run it as administrator. Just run it normally. And it downloads them from bitbucket.org. I bought Peach's APK tool downloads. I take it that must be it. Okay, uh, so let's try that again for the hundredth time. Run as administrator. Yes. Ah, there we go. We now have some options. Okay, first one adjust altitude. One, enter. Right, that's now changed that to 
Yes, okay. CS only allow Google Map. I'm going to guess CS is for Crystal Sky, which I don't have. Enable cache control. Um, don't know what it is, but let's have it anyway. Uh, enable here maps. No. Um, don't want to enable here maps because they're crap. Enable Mavic flight mode on Spark. Uh, I don't have a Spark. I've got a Mavic, so I don't need that. Enable map box. Okay, six. I don't know what map box is. Number seven, fake logging. Yep, I like fake logging. Don't tell DJI how far and how high I'm flying. Number eight, force FCC. Okay, we'll have that one as well. Uh, number nine, go offline. Um, I don't know again, but we'll have it. Make DB public. Uh, I don't know who DB is, but I don't think he wants to be made public. Remove check if rooted. Uh, I like rooted stuff. I've done videos on routes before. We'll have that one. Remove firmware upgrade service. Okay, yeah, we don't want to have firmware upgrading. Renew, remove no fly zone application part. I take it that must be the no fly zone, so we'll have that one. Um, remove platinum motor prop error. I'm on a Mavic Pro. I've not got the platinum, but you would put that if you had the Mavic platinum. Uh, remove update force. Well, no one wants to be forced to update, so we'll get rid of that one. 16, remove wind warning. Uh, NLD doesn't do that, so yeah, we'll definitely have that one. Restore maps download. Well, we're going for the whole hog here, aren't we? So let's go for 17. Runtime, use Google Map. Okay, we'll have 18 as well. And run on Crystal Sky. No, because I don't have a Crystal Sky. Uh, okay, then. Patch APK. That's what it says there. I'm just make that screen a little bit bigger if I can. Let's drag that down a bit so you can see what's going on with it. Oop. And we're going to press P now for patch and enter. Converting patches. There we go. It's doing something. As I say, I'll put the link to the APK in on Dropbox and I'll rename it for you, save you having to rename it. Let's just let this run now. There you go, press any key to continue. That took about five minutes that. I've just fast forwarded the video, save you waiting through it all. Now, as you can see, uh, up here now, there's a file, a folder called modded apk out. It's been called the mod-45.apk. It's time to load that onto uh, the Android device and we'll see what happens with it. Now, I'm just going to stop the video for a second because I had an issue with Google Maps. It was just a blank screen. Uh, there was nothing there whatsoever. So I put a shout out onto the DJI modding forum and a nice chap called Chip Mangini uh, came back and told me about this document. This is called the How to Patch Maps document. I'm going to put this on Dropbox for you. You're going to need to read through it um, because it basically tells you that you're going to need to get uh, what's called an API key for Google Maps. You need to create an account, etc. Uh, once you've got the API key, uh, you basically need to inject it into uh, what they call an Android uh, manifesto XML, which is listed there. Now this tells you how to do it, uh, but just for shits and giggles, uh, I'm going to quickly show you how I did it with mine, and then you can actually just follow the video, which might make it a little bit easier for you. Now as you can see, uh, in the DJI modder folder, I've got a file here called runmepause.bat. I will put a copy of that in the Dropbox, along with the document as well, because that's already been edited. And if I just open up the actual file itself, it's here on line 144, 145, etc. You can see here modify android manifesto xml and then pause that's basically just set the pause and i'm going to actually show you now what happens when you run that particular file in comparison to the normal ones you saw before so let's run that you have to right click and run as administrator and we're just going to tap 18 make it nice and quick and simple and then we're going to hit patch i'll fast forward this bit again until it gets to the part where it pauses So as you can see now, it stops at modified, uh, modify Android manifest. I'm going to put that down there. Scroll to the top, you'll now find a folder called decompile out. Go in there, and there's your Android manifest. Right click and open with Notepad++. And the line you want to go down to is down here. And as you can see, there is a line here called Dot, uh, com.google android maps v2 api key 
That, by the way, is the original one. That's not my API key. <laughs> so don't bother copying it because it won't do you any good. Once it's done, just save it. Go back to your program here and basically just press any key. And there you go. Start to rebuild the tool, uh, rebuild the APK. Again, just fast forward until the end of this. There you go, that's now done, so press any keys to get rid of that. And your modded APK obviously appears just there. Now then, you also now have to follow the part about creating the folder. Um, go into your phone um, and run the DJI app. First of all, load it up, close it out, and then you'll find a folder called DJI. Now it says to create this, the OG underscore settings folder. Now I wasn't sure if you put it here or in there, so basically I just put it in the same place. I just put one in there. And one there as well and that's where you're going to drop the file marked use google map the same as you do for the nld uh, app that i created on another video on your desktop right click choose new text document delete everything that's there just delete it all get rid of it all and then just type use with a capital u google with a capital g and map with a capital m it'll say change the file that's essentially become unusable yes we want to change it and all you've got to do then is just copy that into that folder. Okay, uh, you should be good to go. Um, you should be able to use the app now. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll get the Google Maps working. If not, just reread back through the document and just try. I had to try about four or five times before I finally got it to work, but it did work in the end. Uh, any questions, uh, let me know uh, in the comments below. And uh, that's it. I'll see you next time. As always, fly safely.